Uh, morning guys, this should be a quick video for you. We're going to talk briefly about how to find the slope of a line using rise over run. Uh, the slope is a ratio in which we're comparing the y value and the x value. A couple quick um, vocabulary words. First we begin with rate of change. When we're finding the slope, we're looking for what is the rate of change. Uh, how much is y changing in comparison to x? So rate of change is the ratio of the amount of change in the output to the amount of change in the input. Um, our x value is our input and our y value is our output. So slope is a rate of change problem. So the ratio of the change in the y value, the rise, to the change in the x value. Um, our x value is our run. So we're going to be talking about rise over run on a coordinate plane. Again, using rise over run to find the slope of a line on a graph. Our rise is the y value, our run is the x value. I'm going to show you what that looks like on a graph. Right. So here we have a coordinate plane. Um, as you can see, here's my line. So what I'm trying to do is find out what is the slope of that line. To do that, we're going to use rise over run. How much is this line rising from one point to the other? And how much is it running from one point to the other? Uh, if you have a very long line, what we want to do is you pick two points on that line. So here I have a very short line, I have two points already chosen. So this coordinate point here is 0, 0, x is the 0, y is the 0, and here we have 3, 6, where x is the 3 and y is the 6. So we're going to do rise over run. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at my lowest point and work up. So I'm counting how many do I rise, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I rise six. Now let's see how many we run. One, two, three. So I'm running three. So my rise over run or my slope would be six over three. We would simplify that down to two over one or two. So if I rise two from here and run one, that line should be go through that point. Let's check. One, two. One. So as you can see, that line goes through that point. One, two, one. Again, that line goes through that point. One, two, one. Again, that line goes through that point. Now, when we're running to the right, we have a positive number. When we're running to the left, we have a negative. Uh, because we'd be moving down across this way on a number plane, uh, we're moving in a negative direction as opposed to moving in a positive direction. I'll show you what that looks like with another example. Excuse me. All right. So again, I'm using rise over run. I'm looking for the slope of a line. All right. So again, what I want to do first is find my rise. So I'm starting at my lowest point. This is coordinate negative 3, negative 2, where x is negative 3 and y is negative 2. And this is coordinate negative 9 and 2, where x is negative 9 and y is 2. So again, I'm going to rise. And after I rise, then I'm going to run. After I rise, I like to put the number down on the um, on paper so I don't forget it. All right, so let's see how many I rise. One, two, three, four. So my rise is four. Let's check our run. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. But what you notice is which direction did we run? Did we run to the right or did we run to the left? Exactly, we run to the left. So would that be a positive run or a negative run? Negative. So it's a 4 over negative 6. This would simplify down to 2 over negative 3. So let's see if that would work. 1, 2. Let's run negative 3. 1, 2, 3. And there you go. That line runs right through that point of, this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 6, and y would be your 0 value here. Uh, so that's how you use rise over run to find the slope of a line. Um, best of luck.